The top story for our 6 o'clock news tonight, the number of gang members in Bibb County has gone down. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office says the number went from 600 to 500 in just a couple years. But deputies are still seeing gang violence in the area and younger members are joining in on the action. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz explains why. Gang investigators told me they've seen members as young as nine years old, and there's many circumstances that contribute to that. But the main one the sheriff's office and the mentors project agree with is these kids have nowhere else to turn to. If you listen to the children, they'll tell you all you need to know. June O'Neill has dedicated her life to helping children in need. She's executive director of the mentors project, a program aimed to provide at risk children with mentors. It is so terribly important that children know they have personal cheerleaders in their lives. O'Neill says not every child in Macon Bibb County has one. If you don't have a strong male role model at your house, and if your mom is working two or three jobs, or your grandmother or your aunt, doing the very best that they can, and they said, hey, I need a mentor, and the street calls their name, and they're going to provide new tennis shoes and a jacket, and they're going to be sure you're safe walking to school. That's when children and teens are often attracted to gangs, according to the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. Everybody wants to feel love. Everybody wants to feel family. And that's how gang members recruit a lot of times. You know, people think that all gang members are bullying you and say, hey, you don't come on, be a part of this, I'm going to jump on it. Mm -mm. Serving for the Sheriff's Office for more than 20 years, Lieutenant Reginald Thomas has seen the trend. That's why it's important for him in the outreach section to provide teens with opportunities. It's not going to work for everybody, but if we can save one or two, you can take that one or two young man or young lady, and they can go get 20 because they peers listen to peers. O'Neill and Thomas believe the number of gang members and crimes would reduce if people started showing that they care. If every church and every one of these communities would take on five children, that would be an amazing difference. The Mentors Project currently has 66 children on the waiting list waiting for a mentor. If you'd like to step up and make a difference in someone's life, you can visit our website, 41NBC.com, to learn how you can sign up. Alrighty, thank you, Edna. Something else to also keep in mind, the Sheriff's Office says most of the crimes are gang-on-gang -gang crimes.